Hello guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. Last time we got to Renval and got to the chapter A New Journey, which doesn't have a chapter. Hmm, dot, dot, dot. What is it, Erika? I was thinking about Leon. The last time we saw him was an year and a half ago. You're right, it was at the Grotto Keep. It has really been only a year and a half. <laughs> Imperium Leon, where are you two? We're over here, Erica. You better be quick, Imperium says he's tired of waiting. Oh please, I'm sure you could wait a few moments longer. You're late. How does it take you so long to prepare for such a simple trip? Rest easy, Imperium. There is no need to be so curt with your own sister. After all, a king must learn to treat women with honor and discretion. That was what Father McGregor says. Thank you, Leon. You, unlike my dear brother, are a true gentleman. I was up far too late thinking about my prayer to the Temple Flame last night. I am afraid I, I overslept. Your prayer? What are you babbling about? Come on, you know that flame that has been burning since the time of darkness ending. You must know the story that the flame will answer the prayers of any pilgrim. Really, I don't. I didn't know that. Oh, Imperium, Father McGregor is going to scold you for neglecting your studies, so. Don't even joke about that. So tell us, what have you decided to pray for, Erica? Um, it's a secret. <laughs> I should have known, you're so boring. Well, how about you, Imperium? Me, let's see. <laughs> I guess I'll pray to become a stronger fighter. That's just like you, Imperium. Just like you indeed, brother. I can never tell if you're complimenting me or mocking me. Praising you, of course, right, Erika? Hehe, <laughs> yes, that's right. And you, Leon, what will you pray for? What, me? I suppose uh, I already want... I suppose all I really want is for all our people to be happy. It's very, um, it's very much like you. Very much so, Leon. Now I'm the one who cannot tell if you're being praised or... You're being praised as always, Leon. Tell me, why the sudden decision to visit the temple? Did my brother do something again? Now listen, you. No, it's not what Imperium has done, it's what he hasn't done. He learned nothing about, all about the Sacred Stone and the flame, Temple Flame, so Father McGregor became angry and he said, One destined to become king and rule of a nation must know the history of his kingdom and respect the Sacred Stones. Even since I came to Grotto, my life has been in chastisement and castigation. Father McGregor does not think me to be altogether too kingly. And yet General Dussel has nothing to but praised for you, Imperium. He says you're brave and true, that you've the, you have the markings of a great king. A great king. I honestly have no idea what that means. Erika should succeed the throne. I would be happy simply taking my lance and traveling the land as a mercenary. Imperium, that's nothing but foolish and impossible romanticism. Do you realize how much your words would fill father's heart with grief? Are we speaking? Of the same man, our father is quite, will likely outlive us all. 
For now, I'm continuing just learning the lands from General Dussel. What about you, Lian? Is there anything you want to do? Me? Well, I... I suppose I want to become like my father. You are born to be the Emperor of Grado, Lian. It suits you. I don't think so. I'm not. One thing I do know from watching my father is that being the Emperor is hard. Every day he answers the complaints of people and he almost never sleeps. My father is always so very tired. I hope one day that I hope that I can help him. Lian, you're so honorable. You should learn from him, brother. Again with your criticism. Tell me, Erika. What say you to dressing like me and become king in my stead? You're so skinny, I doubt anyone would know since you're not really a man. <laughs> Imperium! You shouldn't say that to women. What do you suppose Leon is doing now? When Emperor Vygard ordered the invasion, how do you think Leon felt? He's always been so gentle, but he worships his father. He never questioned him. But the Emperor, he's clearly not behaving rationally. I just hope he's not so far gone that he'd hurt his own flesh and bone blood. I just pray for the day when the three of us can be together once again. It will come, I have no doubt. Erika, Imperium, welcome! The two of you returning together is like a dream come true. You must know, I prayed every day for your safe return. I'm happy to see you, Tana. I'm sorry, Tana, I didn't want you to worry. Oh, it doesn't matter now. All that really matters is that I've been brought together again. My own brother will return soon from the field. It will be nice to sit down and discuss things again. <clears throat> Princess Tana, Prince Ainis has returned from the front. Welcome home, dear brother. I'm happy to see you return safe and sound. What did you expect, lass? Did you? Do you think Gladys slugs could touch me? With my bow, I'll take every down. I'll take down every Grado soldier for him, from here to the Emperor's palace. Well met, Highness. Imperium. It's good to see you, Prince Highness. They say Ranais has fallen. I believe I warned you before. This happens because you provided Grado the opportunity to strike. Brother, mind your tongue. This is no occasion for harsh words. Perim and Erika have lost their father in this terrible war. I'm sorry to hear of your father's death. Hear me, Imperium. Our most important task is to defeat Grado and end this war. Oh, hi, niece. I'm sorry, Erika, Imperium. It's alright. It's comforting to see that in all of this, at least he hasn't changed. Ines has hate for me for as long as I can remember. My brother looks up to you as his rival. And as you know, he wants to be the best at everything. The best king, the best general, the best fighter, the best man. He won't allow himself to be beaten at anything. Tana, you talk too much. My father would like both of you to sit with him at war council. Will you come to me with me to take part in your official audience? Yes, of course. There's much I have to, to tell him. It will be an honor to attend. This way. It does my heart good to see you all here safely within our castle walls. Pleasantries, but let us hear your news. Very well, I'll begin. I've directed the body of Freli's army to south to engage Grado directly. Our troops are providing themselves superior and the battle progresses favorably. Hmm. But the riddle it still needs answering. Why did Grado begin this war in the first place? 
Your Majesty, we may all have found something relating to that. We learned something in our travels, with news that weighs heavily upon us. Oh yes, Your Majesty uh, delivered your report to us just a few days ago. Wado is trying to destroy the sacred stones, is that it? Yes. You've strengthened the tower's defenses. Failure stone is safe for the time being. But we remain confused with this. Why does Grado hope to gain by destroying the sacred stones? We don't know. The legends say the stones protect us all from the power of darkness. I can't say it relates, but I have a story about Grado. It has been troubling me, and I would like to share it all with you. Murray, 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 Murray. Come here, please. Yes. Who is this girl? On her back wings? Imperium, who is she? This is Mur, I met a while ago fighting in the Grado territory. Mur, would you please tell everyone here the story you told me? Please, Imperium, you tell them. She's a bit shy. Very well. Mur tells me that he belongs to a Haitian race of dragon folk. They are mentioned in a few legends. They are called the tribe of Mana Kete. Mana Kete? Yes, their name appears in several times in the tale of sacred stones. It says they are neither human nor demon, but a separate, a, fo a loaf kind. Please, Mur. We live in the east, in the darkling woods. One day. Yes, we felt something. An ominous energy to the south. From the direction of Grado. We fe they felt a force flowing out of Grado's empire. Salik and I, we went to investigate this energy, but on our way we came across a battle and were drawn into conflict. Mary got lost and I was and was wandering aimlessly to an isolated region near Grado's border. I met some wicked folk there, they deceived me and enchained me. They stole my dragonstone, they were preparing me for transport. It was in the moment when the Emperor, Emperor, eh, Imperium appeared and rescued me. I stumbled across Mir by chance when Grado's men has ambushed us. Everything she told me seemed beyond belief, and yet, and yet when I saw her wings, I could, what could I do but believe? This dark wave of energy still flows from the southern lands. It's currently is strong and it runs deep. It has awakened the evil ones. I want to stop it. Your Majesty, I bring word. What is so urgent you will need to private interrupt the private council. The tower holding the sacred stone of Frelia has been destroyed by Grado's army. But that's impossible, what of the soldiers on watch? There was supposed to be many. The force, the enemy forces, they were led by Kalek, the Targa Eye and Selenia Florespar. Our soldiers fell before even half a day have passed. Selenia Florespar, only General Dussler, is high in Empire Zwarga's team. She is the one. She came personally. So they really do want to, to see the sacred stones destroyed. Last. That wasn't many troops. Ah, so this hunk of rock is the sacred stone, eh? So much fuss over something so fragile as this. Watch as it crumbles so easily. Do we gain anything by this? I don't care, but... Black-hearted fool, what have you done? Without the stone's protection, the horrors was spared. Uh, what is this? Still breathing, are you? Come, if you have any last words, then I'll hear them, full of failure. You monster! <laughs> you waste your last words on insults, and feeble ones at that. Hardly the right note to enter the eternal on, wouldn't you say? Well then die. 
Hold. What are you doing, Kalak? Our job was to destroy the sacred stone. I know that, and I crushed it, did I not? But if we don't create, clean up these failing coils, they might. We do not raise our blade to anyone who is powerless to resist you. The Emperor does not desire to kill without cause. That would be murder. Right, Emperor. Your name is Selina, ain't it? Tell me, Selina, what makes a pasty old fool's words so important? Wretch! Do you dare insult his imperial majesty? Hey, hey, I'm joking. Don't get so worked up. I'll get it now. You're a true and loyal soldier. I'm leaving before failure sends reinforcements. Coming? Nope. I'm not coming. How could this happen? How could I have allowed our secret stone to be destroyed? Dark energies from the Empire's capital. Evil monstrosities roaming our lands. I got mad invasion and now death the destruction of a sacred talisman. And we have no idea of Grado's goals. We are in dark times once again. But even so, we cannot sit here, raging in our hands. First, we must warn the nations that house the remaining sacred stones. If Vygard seeks to destroy the stones, we are all in grave danger. Jehana and Rossen must be warned. The nations must join together to fight a common foe. Do you think they'll believe us? Hmm. It's a difficult tale to believe, but I must agree. I'll go, Father. Ines. A direct visit from the Prince of Frelia is not something they can ignore. I will travel to Jehana, where I will forge an alliance with her queen. If our sacred son has been destroyed, then Frelia could be in grave danger. Father, I cannot let you leave the nation in such time of crisis. It's imperative that you are the one to go. Mm. I will head to Ruston. Erika, I know I can't let you put yourself in such danger. Rest easy, dear brother. I will journey to Ruston by rope, and I made a vow. I will fight as you have until the days when I is liberated. I understand. King Hayden, I will take your the troops and march for the mar imperial capital from the west. The west. Uh, the West, sorry. Are you saying you will begin us an assault on Grado from here? If we can take Grado keep, the war will be over and the sacred stones will be safe. We start here and press on forward with all our might. And once you reach the capital, Rygard's generals will be waiting for you. If they oppose, we will fight. You've got your father's foolhardy uh, courage, don't you? Very well, I start to with all our hope into free. Ines, will you go to Jehana? Erika to Ruston and Imperial to the ca Imperial capital. Funding you will have, but of soldiers we have few to spare. For each one of you, a difficult world awaits. If anyone needs to defeat, the battle will turn to Grado's favor. There must be no way for errors. We must not fail. Where I command, there it's no mistakes. I have no doubts. I will, I will succeed. I swear it. Come, time is to go. Ooh. Oh well, Bernard. I will return. Mm. To be honest, I still don't want you to go. Oh. I would rather you wait here for my return. Please, Imperium. I'll be fine, there's nothing to you to work. Oh, sorry. Mine is the easiest task, and it will be no danger. I'm far more worried about your mission. Challenging the might of an Empire with a handful of men. What's this now? Have you lost your faith in me? Of course not. I know your true thing, Imperium. No one can defeat you. Haha, <laughs> hearing you say that fills me with confidence. 
I think I know my own limitations. I won't overstand over my reach. I can't die and leave you on your own, can I, Imperia? Let us both survive to be reunited. Give the word, Erika. You have it, brother. Ooh. So, in this playthrough, we will go through the two parts at the same time. So, there will be an episode with Erika and Imperium. So, we will choose Erika first. Ooh. Sorry. And we save. Chapter 9 Tao finally has appeared on the east of Castle Ferry on the world map. Once held by Grado troops has become the most host to the Dark Creatures. So, this is one of the training spots. So, whoop. And... My name has been... Shiny Magic Carp, this was Fire Emblem, Sacred Stones, ooh, Mogul. And we are in Chapter 9, Distant Blade for Erika, and the other one I will, I think is Chapter 9 as well. So I'll be back next episode. Bye-bye.